Hey guys, Mr. here again for another video today, and we are back with our Houston Vikings franchise mode. And in this one, we will sim the regular season. We will also make, uh, I believe it's only going to be one trade, but I think we might make some trades. Uh, we will see, though. Uh, I do have some extra players that I do want to get rid of, or I guess slash I will be getting rid of. Uh, that's for sure, though. So let's... Uh, I mean, I guess we can start with that. Let's do that first. So, proposed trade. Let's see. Who do we, or who are we getting rid of here? We have to get rid of uh, four defensemen. I believe that is it, uh, but I'm not too sure. Let's see. So, we've got, um, in this trade, we've got Jared McIsaac going, who we drafted fourth overall in 2018. Kind of upset that he didn't get any better than what he is. But, uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to be getting much better anyways. Yuri Korolev uh, will also be gone. Defensive D-man, 24 years old. Even though he's got that low elite potential, he's just not going to be that good. Uh, then we've got uh, Timothy Lilligren. Look at that value. He's got about zero value basically now. Low elite, 78 overall, 25 years old. It's just not going to work out. And Yuso Valimaki. Uh, someone I was very high on when we drafted him, and I thought he was going to be a lot better than what he is for us, but unfortunately, he will be gone as well. So we're going to be heading to Minnesota, and we have I'm pretty sure we've done a trade like this before, but we are going to try and acquire their first overall pick. Yes, we did, because we traded Slavin and some other people there. Now, I do not know if this will go through or not, but we will try it. Proposed trade. Will that go through? Trade rejected. So it said that they wanted Jared McIsaac. Now, the thing about that is that we actually do have other players that we could get rid of that I did want to get rid of. One of them being, uh, well, I mean, McCollum really wouldn't be bad to get rid of. I don't think I'm using Gabriel McCollum. I don't think so. I could definitely use him in this. Uh, you know what? Yeah, why not? Let's use Gabriel McCollum, because am I using him? I don't think so, but I might be. Maybe I shouldn't get rid of him. I, another player I was thinking about getting rid of was uh, Sebastian Reese, because the way I have the team made right now, he is not going to be in the lineup, and truly, I do not know what I could do with him. So you know what? I think I might have to do that then. Uh, they do have too many spot or two or they would have a full roster though so would have to take someone back which wouldn't be the end of the world how about this bass guy 54 18 it's not great but he is playing in the chl so i wouldn't have to really worry about him will this go through so mikaisa korolev lilia grand valamaki and reese for the minnesota uh first rounder and bass uh, that will go through all right well I'd like to see, well, actually, how many draft picks do we currently have? They have Jonathan Huberto now, so I, I was looking at their team, and it did say that they were hopeful, so that's interesting. Uh, let's see, how many draft picks do we have in this upcoming draft? We don't have a first. We have two seconds, a third, a fourth, a fifth, sixth, and seventh, though. Now, I highly doubt we could get a third in this, but could we try that? Proposed trade. So we cannot get the third. Can we get the fourth and fifth, though? Will that go through? We cannot. How about just the fourth? No. Can we get just the fifth, then, as well? Maybe. We'll see. I'd just like to get one extra draft pick from them. No. And if we can't get a sixth, I'm not even going to bother. Bother? I'm not even going to bother with the seventh. Will that go through? No, it will not. So... We will just be getting Bass and the first, West Bass. I forgot to look at his first name. So West Bass and a first. Nice, there we go. Uh, now, uh, I believe we can just do best rosters for now. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go in <laughs> and look at some things because I do have a lineup that I want as I'm looking at my notepad. I believe everything should work out. If this works now, trading block. Uh, I do want to get rid of Herbass off that. Buke 
and Ronaldo. We will be replacing them, or well, we won't be replacing them, but we won't be using those, or we will be using those players, so they won't be on the block. Now, Ronaldo is here, but I plan on having Rick Ronaldo as our extra player, even though he's really, really fast. Wow. Um... This is how I basically wanted the lineup. I do not know if I'm going to have Benson on the top line or not. I could use Yoshimura on that second line, though. The way I had it was Yoshimura, Hishir, and David. So really, it would be like that. That's how I had the second line. That's how I had the third line. And that's how I had the fourth line. But instead of Ronaldo, I do have Nicholas there, our new franchise player, which I think would be good. And I just used Ronaldo as the extra player. And since he is a fourth liner, shouldn't complain about ice time that much. And there will be injuries. So we'll see about that. Maybe instead, though, if Buke wasn't listed as a third liner, I would definitely scratch Buke instead because Ronaldo actually has the much better potential. Well, not necessarily potential, but he's just in general could be much better since he is uh, the same potential, but he is two years younger and the same overall as Joey Buke. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, I'm just thinking Yoshimura, pretty good defensively. The reason why, if you guys are wondering, uh, the reason why I don't have Benson on the center spot anymore is Zadina is better at face-offs. I do need Zadina, though, on the second line, preferably. Well, I don't need him there, but if I had him on the third line, that means Vanainen would be on the fourth line. That means we'd have to move things around again, and I don't like that. So I like our top six like this, and I think everything would work out like that. So if we had... Yoshimura on the top line with Hishir and David. We'll see how that line does this year. But um, the reason why I have Benson on the second line and not the first line is because I can give him penalty kill time all day long, which would not be bad. Zadina, I could do the same with, really. Gibson, I mean, I guess I could really do the same with. But, like, our first power play unit, probably going to be our top line. Same thing for the second line. It's, prob it's probably what it's going to be. I'd like to try and get Markin in there. I don't know if I can, though. He's listed as a third liner, so really I shouldn't have to give him any more ice time. And then again, we'll have to wait and see, though. So uh, from that, I think that is good offensively. Now defensively, what I had was I had Nickerson with Trojanovic, Roning with Hillis, and then not Davison. I want Jocelyn in here instead because I was looking at the stats between... Uh, Korolev, Luyagren, Mikhaizik, Valamaki, Jocelyn, and Davison. Uh, Jocelyn's stats were my favorite. They're the ones that I liked the most, I guess. Not my favorite, but he's six foot five, 234 pounds, and he's just a much better two-way defenseman, although he can definitely be a solid de def defensive D-man as well. Now, Chris Danovich, probably not going to get much better, but I mean, if he can get to an 81 maybe an 82 but still be listed as a top six defenseman that would be perfect for our bottom pair because jocelyn i don't know if he'll grow anymore i'd love to see him get to an 80 that would be ideal now for tim Roning, we're going to keep him on that second pair he is listed as a top four defenseman nickerson is listed as a top two defenseman so that's why i have them like that although i'm sure we will have to play them together eventually ken hillis though finally made the lineup he actually was on the nhl roster in the last episode i just never noticed it so he is here now. He is listed as a top six defenseman. We will be giving him top four ice time. And the Trojanovic looks really good. Trojanovic is more of like a two-way defensive kind of guy, while Nickerson is an offensive two-way guy. And then, Tro or not Trojanovic, uh, Roning is kind of like literally a, a two-way offensive defensive D-man kind of thing. Like, I don't know. He has... If he had higher offensive awareness, he could seriously be good. Uh, like, if he had a, even an 85, 86 offensive awareness, he could be pretty good offensively as well because he's got 94 hand-eye, which obviously is a plus. But it, what really stands out for him is his skating, his physical category. I mean, he's not the, he's literally not the strongest player, but extreme durability, extreme body checking, and he's really aggressive. And if you're looking at his defensive stats, unreal as well. Discipline really isn't that bad for him either. And Hillis will be making his debut in the NHL. And as for goalies, we're sticking it. We're sticking. We're sticking with Lukanen and Herbass. We will see how this goes, though. Lukanen, um, he was the he was the goalie I wanted from the start to really be our number one, and he finally has accomplished that. 
Now, as for Herbass, I don't know. He's listed as a starter. He still has a lot of value. We could definitely trade Herbass away. We'll have to wait and see, though. So, I believe our scratch players... Yeah, it's just Davison right now. So, I do... I cannot make roster moves, though, because we do not have the cap space currently, I believe, in the system. I do want to bring Nicholas up, but I don't think... Oh, I can. Sure. Wait, can I send down... Um, can I send down... Um, Ronaldo then. Uh, could I? I could. Now, I don't know if I do want to send Ronaldo down because I kind of would like to have him as our extra forward. Um, ah, should we have him as our extra forward or should we have him in the AHL? You know what? To be fair, I wouldn't mind having Buke down in the AHL, even though he is listed as a third liner. Well, which stats look better? Puck skills, both really poor, but it's definitely, Buke definitely has the advantage there. Shooting, uh, also Buke, I would say. It's just a better all-around shot, while Ronaldo only really has a good wrist shot. Skating, 100% goes to Ronaldo. Physical, uh, pretty even. I would say maybe, uh, yeah, I'd say it goes to Ronaldo. Defense, definitely Buke. Senses, probably Ronaldo. Yeah, hmm, interesting. I don't know. I think, I don't think we're going to send Ronaldo down. I think we'll just keep him as our extra player, or as our extra forward, I should say. So, uh, yeah, let's make that move. There we go. Now let's go edit lines once again. Um... Let's see, so we'll replace Ronaldo with Nicholas. He will be playing in the NHL this year for his rookie season. We'll see how he does. He is another two-way forward, so he probably won't get... I mean, he probably won't get too much points, but we'll see. Who, who knows, honestly. I really have no idea how good he can get, or how good he will get, I guess I should say. Uh, goalies, yeah, we're good. So I believe that is everything I want to do in the AHL. Oh, I did have the lineup down here a certain way as well. I wanted uh, Goran, Continent, and I had Ronaldo there, but we'll have Shorstrom there. And I want um, Godard. Uh, he's a left wing. Okay, sure. I want um, Boland on the top line, or on the second line, then Godard, then Stokes. Uh, center, I do want us to take out Boloshenko for an Isimov, yep. And then right wings, I think that is good. Although Mickelson, oh, we don't have a right wing to be in there. We don't have a left wing to be in there. So yeah, that's our forward core. And defensively, I want uh, Yuntinen on the top line uh, with uh, Junior Stewart. So let's put Yuntinen in there. And then we will replace Jensen with Louis. Uh, and then we will put Jensen back in to where um, Utenen was. So Utenen will be getting ice time with our best defenseman in the AHL, Junior Stewart, who should be ready for the NHL. Maybe, if not this season, definitely next season. We'll see. Uh, Louis with Martikainen and then Witt with Jensen. I would say that's pretty decent. Goalies, Deschamps and Vallette are two medium elite goalies that we both drafted last year. Yeah, one was seventh overall and was uh, in the sixth round, though. So we'll see how, uh, how that works out for the both of them. And last thing I wanted to do was there was one player that I wanted to sign. Um, let's see. Uh, it was a unsigned prospect, and he had a decent amount of potential. It wasn't Olofsson, it was a defenseman, it wasn't Seidenberg, it wasn't Horak, I don't think it was O'Reilly, it wasn't Tara Vinen. oh it was Duncan, sorry, it wasn't a defenseman, yeah, it was Duncan, so uh, we'll offer him an entry level deal, I think I might honestly put him into the AHL right now, um, actually is he in the AHL or is he in the CHL, I do not know, let's go and check that. Uh, really quickly, let's see, um, scratched, we do have Duncan here, so Jamie Duncan, we will see, so Healy, 
22, top 9, 22, top 9, 21, top 9. I think we're just going to replace Mickelson. Uh, or Mick, did I say Mickelson? It was Nicholson. I don't remember. Yeah, it was Mickelson. Yeah, okay. So Jamie Duncan, uh, Vladimir Anisimov, and Kelly Stokes will now be our fourth line. That is two new prospects that we have on our team, though. So we'll see how our AHL team does down there. It's not a bad AHL team. It's definitely not the best either. We are listed as champions, so we'll see how that goes. And then for the NHL, we are also listed as champions. Very interesting. And, yeah, so I believe... That is everything I wanted to do uh, for that, I guess. So let's see how we do in the preseason. Uh, I do want to check after as well who... Sure, Brian Rust joined the team. Um, I'm assuming it's because we are really low under the cap space. Uh, that would make sense at least. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I don't I don't know we'll 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 see okay so scouting this year uh, I do not remember where I'm or I should be scouting but I'm gonna try a new scouting method this year I'm gonna try two weeks forwards two weeks defense and one week goalies and we'll see that maybe I could get around everywhere at that point um yeah we'll tr we'll try that we'll see how that goes preseason looking really good um I. <laughs> I don't know, though. We're looking pretty good in the preseason. If we're going to be playing like that this year in the NHL, that would be really nice. That's for sure. Stop the sim. Or no, not stop the sim, but 5-1-1 one, one in the preseason. That's not bad. That's for sure. Terry Yoshimura had the most points. We were also first uh, in the preseason. So that uh, isn't too bad. That's for sure. Let's go now, and we will sim to the... Deadline. I don't know. I don't think we'll be able to sim to the deadline in this episode because we or I have not used my time efficiently in this one. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So starting off the regular season, we lose our first game as Ken Hillis has already been injured until December. Wow, he got injured in like the first two games. Well, that's unfortunate. Um... um Great. How it is. Sign me into my second account now, too. All right. Well, episode's done, guys. We'll see where we left off in the next one. <laughs> Whatever. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you all did enjoy. Stupid game.